stop with these many uh, hamburgers. They get a hamburger, french fries, and coke. Now, I normally get a newspaper. And this time, the Daily News was, they didn't have any Daily News. They didn't have any inquiries, so I reached for a Daily News. As soon as I reached for a Daily News, my world changed. Wow. As soon as I reached for that newspaper, I decided to quit my junk food business and open up a health food store. Wow. That very second, my world changed. Okay. What happened was a guy called David Duke was on the front page of the Daily News saying that Jews are a threat to this country. And I said to myself, not on my watch. Okay. <laughs> That's not going to happen while I'm alive. The Jews, I felt that at that time the Jews were... Uh, I'm Jewish, I said, there's no way, no way it's going to happen in the United States. Okay. All right, what I'll do is I'll come up with a plan to change the country, stop the country, make sure the Jews in this country don't, don't get uh, hurt. Oh, gosh, okay. So my plan was, and that, I would say, in a few months, I opened up my first health store at Manuel. Okay. The reason why I chose Manuel, because Manuel, I felt, was the area that had the most influence. That came my, that time, I had no, no experience, no bottom experience, nothing. I okay. knew nothing. That's all I knew is I had to open a health store. So three months later, yeah, but I, I should get that. I'm gonna get a ladder. No, you can't, no, 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 no. It has to be done systematically. It has to be done with chairs. You can't do it like that. Because certain chairs go up and certain chairs go down, and we need a ladder. They have to go crisscross. All right, no problem. Okay. Okay. He's trying to organize a store. But what happened to the store I met you in Jenkintown? I thought that was a helpful store too. That was, but it was a mistake. It was. I just wasn't ready. I could open ah. two stores at once. I okay. thought I was gonna open like two two hundred fifty-six stores. Wow. And it would just kind of flow. Uh huh. Said, what happened was my thinking was off. Because my thing at that time was vitamins and herbs. Okay. And th at that time, it wasn't about raw food. I didn't know anything about raw food. So the second store failed miserably, so I dropped that, went back to Manion. I guess by my eighth year of owning business, I found out about raw food. Okay. And that's when I kind of cha changed direction. And how did you come up with the banana whip? Who introduced you to that? That was actually happened in Ocean City, New Jersey. Because okay. at that time, as soon as I found out about raw food, at that time I had a vegan cafe. Uh -huh. I closed the vegan cafe down. <laughs> I didn't know what to sell. So some said, why do you sell banana whips? I said, what is a banana, banana whip? There's a place in Ocean City, New Jersey. I went to Ocean City, New Jersey, for a bash with banana, I still in business. I found out what they had, I began selling banana whips. Okay. Right, okay. right, right, right by the register. Okay, and you offer 100 Million and flavors. one a million. <laughs> million flavors a of banana whip. whip. Yeah. Okay. Banana is almost like it's a meal or a dessert. Right. And you're also doing, you also do here the 30 day raw vegan. Okay. This is the Food Alchemist. And I'm here with the famous Arnold at the famous Arnoldway and Lansdale on Main Street. 317, 319 West Main Street? West Main Street, yeah. West Main Street and Lansdale. He had a powerful potluck dinner, brunch affair, and you're also having your raw food festival. Next week. Tell them about the raw food festival out there. Well, what it is, it's a 10 hour event. We have seven major chefs, seven speakers, and it's a 10 hour affair with yoga, meditation, gong. We finished by a movie I made, a documentary movie called Breast Cancer Awakening. Cost it $10. All right, and he's even offering a deal. If you can get 10 or, I think it's 10 or 100 people. No, the first 100 people get $5 off. Wow, so. I'm you, not, which means I'm interested in, 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 in making a difference. Right. Money's not a factor. I know I'll make the money afterwards. Right. So and as many people as I can to come to this. Well, they should have like 300, so no more than 100. Okay, I want I want people to know how did you get into raw because a lot of people don't know that story. A lot of people don't know that. I yes. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you when it started, and to this day I'm I'm really focused on it. Okay. It's, it actually all started in 1972. Okay. 1972, I was a mediator. I was a whole nine yards, beer drinker, womanizer, the whole nine yards. <laughs> I was at a, at a pizza place or an ice cream place. And I saw a pizza place across the street. Mm -hmm. So I think I'll just walk across the street and you know, get my pizza. It was at 13th and Pine in Philadelphia, right near Dirty Fights, and everybody knows Philadelphia. <laughs> okay. So in the middle of the block, I got stopped. Wow. In the middle of the street, I got stopped. Cars were, were, were about maybe about 100 feet away. And someone stopped me, right in the middle of the street. I says, what's going on? He says, Arnold, you have to do, you're gonna do great things in this life. Wow. You're going to do great things, and I want you to be the light for others. So I says, well, who was that? 
Now, then Debbie Applebaum was on the other side. I said, Debbie, you see that person? She says, what are you talking about? <laughs> there was nobody. Okay. In my opinion, it was an angel. Right. An angel came to me and said, Arnold, you're going to do great things. But the thing is, it, I was, it wasn't ready for it. Okay. And that's when, I, that's when the first stop. And I only, I only became really recognized maybe about a year ago. Wow. Then 40, 41, 42 years later, it dawned on me. That's what I'm meant to do. Okay. Anyway, I guess the next best thing is, I guess when I was 45 years old, I thought I had a heart attack, rushed twice to the hospital, and the second time I walked out because I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't ready, I wasn't, I wasn't ready to die, I wasn't ready to continue being in the hospital. I just left. Right. And uh, at the same time, I opened up a health food store, and that's where it somehow began. And where was your first health food store? I brought up Emmanuel. Oh, Which means okay. what happened was, it's a kind of funny story. When I was 40, I a, right during the same time, I had, a, I had a junk food business, and I just delivered, a, by the way, we're moving chairs. So. That's okay. We, we're. This is my uh, 15th month doing it. Okay. Right, there's almost 400 people, four or 500 people taking the program. But now, and generally, within every three months, I offer a free program. Okay. Anybody, give me $99, and any month they get their money back. Just okay. Credit. Right now, I decided to do it every single month for the next two years. Okay. So tell us what it consists of. They have to... Number one, become vegan. Okay. Number two, I have to see them at least 20 times a month. Okay. If I see them 20 time, times a month, I know I, I got them. Okay. Which means they have to be around me. I'm such a positive energy guy. I'm really focused. I know what I got to do. Not also, they sit at this table designed for uh, uh, communi com community. Mm -hmm. They have to sit down and eat, and uh, they have to come to classes. Okay, and the classes are what once a week, right? Once a week, yeah. And that's your support system. So, support system, yeah. so you have other supporting people supporting them. So right. it's not just you, not just me. but it's other people here. And right. everything that they need to be raw, you have in the store. That's right. Books, you, education. Right. It's not about food, it's about education. Right. That's what I mean. You have your books here yeah. on the shelf. Yeah. I was trying not to get all these people in. Uh, These are the books that he has, and it's a wealth of knowledge. Eight chairs are in NA. Okay. Yeah, hey, Colin, eight chairs are not mine. They have NA on the back, okay. not on it. Okay. Yeah. So my thing with you is that you're you're having this raw vegan right. fest, right. and this is your first one? Fifth one. Fourth Fifth one. one. Fourth one. Okay. Actually, it's probably going to be pretty small. They actually have 300 people. About four years ago, I had 450 people, but uh, it just didn't work out this year. Okay. The space we normally rent, they close down, so I have no room, so I just kind of make it small. Okay. Well, that's okay, but it's, okay. it's, it's going to come. I'm here with Arnold from Arnold's Way, and we wanted to also show you these beautiful books that he also has. Um, and this also has essays, so he has a lot more books on the shelf. And all the products that you will need to go raw, he actually has in the store, which we're very happy with. And I'm just excited that I just stop in to do an interview with him about Ronald's Way and meeting these lovely people that he's built a lovely, raw, pop love community. So he's going to continue to talk about his projects. He's working on it at home. He's working on autism. Um, he's working on autism. Um, on the whole diet, and we just heard a lovely woman's story about her son and autism and how she helped uh, him with home for that for the last 30 years that the vaccination with the preservatives as is has also called autism in children. So be aware. So let's go back to her. Okay. So. You're, you're, you're on that crusade. Which means on Instagram. Okay. Three times a week. I had approximately uh, 7,000, 8,000 people. Okay. We're working on an album, okay. which Michelle the singer. Dynamite song. Okay. If I can get it for you, I don't know if you can put it on there, but it's okay. really beautiful song. Okay. Maybe even there. Right, like, maybe I can send it to you. You can send it to me, we'll put it on yeah. there. So you, you're going to get, um, you're going to put this out there, so we're going to stop this vaccination. Let's go. We're going to also help people eat green smoothies, going raw, and get better health. That's his mission. He's not about making money as a beautiful man in his cause of the green smoothie, the raw food challenge, and the festivals and all the things that yeah. he's doing in this community 
for better health. I need you behind him 100%. He's going to have this 30-day challenge start September 11th. It's free. And it's free. When free. Is, when is it? It's $99, and you must get your money back. And 30 days you get your money back. And uh, store credit. And store credit for $99. Cafe credit. I mean, how much? And cafe credit. Get your cafe money back. Cafe credit. So, you can't beat that. Can't beat that. No. Can't now, beat that. We got some wonderful, wonderful, wonderful chefs that are going to be here that are fixing wonderful meals. He's making banana whips. He's got beautiful, showing you how to sprout nuts. He's got sprouts. Uh, the, what is it? The sprout jars. You got to sprout. Don't kill me. You don't kill yeah, me. No, I'm in Warminster. Yeah. And uh, Jenkintown in Montgomery County, right there is just just beautiful. And the 309-309. I'm back in Philly, got the Philly thing going on here. <laughs> he's near there, that highway. And 73, and he's off to 63 off of West Road. It is just easy. You can get to it by car, by train. SEPTA comes up here. I mean, what more action can you get? You got it going on. So you got car, <coughs> train, you don't need a plane, just come on down. Marlo's waiting for you. Yeah, we have a plane for people to come by plane right now. <laughs> Lord Morgan. So we look forward to hearing from you. This is your local food and favorite food alchemist, Chef Sussy. Love, peace, longevity, and life. I said to you, prosperity and blessings to everyone. Wow.